a disturbing discovery made outside a South Florida fire station. Vandals spraying parts of the facility with graffiti. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live in Coral Gables with that story. Peter. Well, Lauren, this happened sometime between 1.30 and 6.30 in the morning. This is the first time this has happened at this fire station. A fire rescue spokesman tells me this feels somewhat like an assault. And as we speak, we're already wrapping up, taking off the paint from this building. It's unsettling for sure. This is a, a station that where we know where we not only work, but we also live. We spend 24 hours here and to show up for work and to see that your home has been vandalized is very unsettling. Coral Gables Rescue Fire Lieutenant Daniel Amador says this yellow paint on fire station number two not only blemishes this building, but it assaults the spirit of every firefighter working here. This is a place where you perform public service, and for somebody to do this, it, it just, just offends you. It does. It certainly does. But we're not going to allow some wrong act to affect the way that we treat our citizens at Coral Gables. We're going to continue to provide the highest level of service that we do, like we do regardless of anyone vandalizes their building or not. The graffiti on the building at 525 South Dixie Highway was discovered around 6.30 in the morning. It does not seem to have any specific message. I don't think it's anything targeted at the fire department. There, are, there isn't anything that we see um, or anything we can understand that's directed towards the fire department. You'd sure like to find whoever did this. As with, with, any, with anyone, with anything, excuse me, any type of vandalism, you always want to know who did it. What would you like to say to the public if they saw anything at all? Well, to let us know, to, to let us know, the fire department, the police department know that if you have any information, to pass it along. This is the last thing you need. You've got enough to worry about other than having vandalism. Absolutely. And having to worry about emergencies, fires, medical issues with the public, we want to make sure that we're ready to to respond, and we already respond, regardless of the vandalism. Now, this building has been here for 50 years and is actually slated for demolition later this year. Coral Gables police tell us they have an active investigation and are looking for witnesses and surveillance tape. If you can help, call Miami Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. In Coral Gables, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.